Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, I just want to explain about auto stitcher in the generator section of the substance painter. But before going into that, uh, here I've got this uh, cloth model uh, I've just downloaded from internet. I would like to share that link in the description. Just explore that. Now here, uh, this model has been UV'd already. So you can directly use this model ready to use. And uh, <coughs> this model is free actually. So what I've done is I've just uh, created a quick selection set just by selecting the uh, faces like that and then went to create sets and choose quick selection set and then just name it and then say ok then you should able to see all that set, uh, s selection sets has been created and uh, it's not really important but uh, I thought let's keep it on a safer side so we have this quick selection set you can go to create uh, sets quick selection set uh, from here so once that has been done I can go to the file and then say export the selection in the OBJ format okay once this is exported we sh we will open this in the substance painter so here I am in substance painter I'll just go to the file and then open the file here sorry I'll, I just wanted to go with a new file and uh, here uh, it is metallic roughness PBR shader I'm going to select this uh, model and I've exported this as uh, shirt long sleeve 003 OBJ I'm opening it up and then I'll be choosing a 4k texture here and uh, rest of them I would like to keep it uh, default and then say ok now you should able to see the shirt has been imported into the substance painter uh, before uh, starting doing anything I would like to bake the mesh maps here so here everything is fine I'll just go to the ID and then choose mesh ID here and then color generator should be hue shift it's not really required but uh, on a safer side I'm just keeping if any any panel I just want to go a different color just uh, it's a complement to this particular uh, uh, tutorial okay so I'm just hitting uh, bake selected textures and then it will bake the texture now if I just go here we have all the maps baked in which I want to show you the ID map you should able to see every panel is in different color because I've done the quick selection sets in Maya and then here when I baked I baked using the uh, options uh, by saying mesh ID and polygroup so that is very important when you are expecting panel wise selection when you are doing the cloths okay now let's put it uh, back to the material and then in the smart material section I'm going to choose leather so you, you might not see this uh, all library of textures of leather um, in your PC because I've actually installed few of the leather textures and uh, I've downloaded it from ArtStation okay I'll share the link in the description you can download and use them okay uh, just once you have downloaded you need to just go to file and then say import resources and then click add and then I have this uh, leather fabric dot uh, SPSM so which is a smart material and just when I say open it is a smart material and uh, import into the uh, current session and when uh, when I say import you get all that materials here okay so I've got this materials and I'm going to uh, assign one of these materials to this okay so you got some nice beautiful material uh, here and then if I could generally rotate the light I could see that specular break happening on the texture this is a very beautiful material here uh, the leather material okay so uh, the idea is to bring up this uh, 
stitches and how do I do it so go to the layers section okay create a simple uh, fill layer and make sure that you have some thread color and then uh, thread should be rough you can increase the roughness value looks good at this point now what I'm going to do is add a layer mask anything would be do uh, will be fine so I'm adding a white mask here black or white mask anything is fine as I said so click the generator and then in the generator section I would like to choose this auto stri uh, stitcher and when I choose that uh, you get the stitches automatically created here now it is actually identifying your UV panels and it is generally giving that threads here so you have a curvature based so it is uh, identifying the surface curvature uh, based on that curvature uh, you're getting this uh, uh, threads okay so uh, not that much reliable and I'll go to the UV mask and we have some options here you can uh, switch to the 2d mode and you should able to see it uh, here every panel has got that so very small panels didn't get the thread because of its smaller size okay that's important so I can just go here then we have the position I'll put the position to zero and then it will go, go as close as possible to the border then we have a, st a stitch size which is 0 0.5 I'll put it to 0 0.1 so that becomes uh, almost small and then we have a width 0 0.1 again and um, we have stitch length that is also 0 0.1 because just wanted that small stitches happening there okay uh, we have roundness if I choose the roundness value to 0 this particular uh, box would be very sharp okay and uh, we have uh, jittery value you can increase the jitters if you wanted them okay uh, unevenness or randomness in the stitches okay uh, so I got this I'll just go back to my 3d mode and you should able to see this texture on the model okay now let's uh, um, let's see uh, we have custom input custom input is where you have to put uh, a image of your choice it should be a black and white image which should be uh, having panel like uh, design so here click the custom and then you have the brushes if you pick the brush uh, okay, I'll just switch this to uh, 2d only and you should able to see that panel uh, has got I mean you could see the stitch here uh, the panel which I have taken and uh, we have uh, the options here arrow depth and all that which is related to that particular uh, custom input and we have uh, repeated textures okay uh, which have full pattern so you can choose them if you wanted so I'm choosing this one and then you should able to get that repeated texture you should able to see that okay that texture you can go down and then increase the tiles and then you get uh, more number of uh, uh, floral patterns you should able to see that okay so I can go back to 3d mode and you should see that design here okay so you can use a custom input you can rely on your curvature map or you can rely on your UVs uh, this this particular layer uh, is very strong and standing out I just wanted it to be low as much as possible I don't want it to be clearly visible it should be very low profile in terms of um, the look is concerned and uh, I can add height if uh, wanted there okay so that gives up a height to that particular stitch now you have uh, you can uh, duplicate this layer okay so I'm 
uh, duplicating this layer I've got two layers here so select the layer which is below and then make it black so you should able to see that black and then what you need to do is on the auto uh, sticker you can add another filter uh, which is it's not a generator it's a filter so first one was the generator so I'm adding a filter here and in filter I'm going to add a, a blur filter okay so blur is there here you should be able to see that it's giving that nice bumps which is 0 0.5 now go to th the layer and then choose the bump to the negative so that gives the cavity here you should be able to see that okay so that cavity I'm adding and on top of that I'm going to add this now you should be able to get that nice um, effect of you know uh, when the stitch is happening there there's a small cap pull inside the stitch so that's how you can generally add stitches to your uh, uh, you know objects now I'll just uh, I can switch back to my uh, custom map to the UV mask in both the areas so that you get the stitches only happening on the edges of this let's say at, at any point of time you are not uh, expecting um, this texture to be visible uh, then you can always um, add a okay uh, a paint layer okay so uh, let me choose this mask okay and then uh, you can choose uh, a black area black paint there you need to select that paint layer and then when you paint it okay and then when you select it back you could see that stitches are gone in that area so just uh, a simple paint layer will do it now if I bring this layer okay on top of it which is going to bring in the cavity you can uh, copy this and then here you can paste it so whatever the paint I've applied um, here that can be pasted back to the um, layer which has been added here and on top of that let's say you can select your normal <coughs> okay paint layer okay and then you can choose brushes so you have uh, brushes here and then you can uh, select this uh, stitches okay you have that stitches here and then you need to uh, paint a white okay and then when you add that it gives you the stitches uh, wherever you wanted them to be okay so if you will feel that okay there is no stitch any at any point you are expecting you can always go and add that stitches there so you have uh, all that brush controls generally um, you need to explore your brush options which I have covered in a different video uh, so you can um, use uh, options here and then uh, control your brush the way you wanted it to be okay so it's all about uh, the features in this brush so just you need to create a brush very close to what your reference is sometimes you see over stitching at any point and your auto stitcher is not really helping you can uh, repeat uh, your you custom paint your uh, texture there okay like that so whatever you have painted you can copy it and paste it there and then you get that all cavities painted uh, to your stroke okay so that's uh, the whole idea of this uh, particular tutorial hope you liked it thank you